Okay. Um, you might have seen me make things like this before. I was showing you this in my video about how to frame. Um, or get it ready for framing anyway. A picture, a little picture you might want to make. But I have some more here that I'm going to finish off too. It just requires a little bit of hand embroidery now. I've done some nice little backgrounds. Let's have a look. That one. It's a good start. But how do we go about it? Well, it's a mixture of things really. So, I just thought... I picked this off the end of something that's a um that's a salvage there. And look at that, that looks quite good. I'm just gonna use this just to try and tack it down. What we're doing here is using a needle felt needle. I've got I've grabbed a few bits and pieces of this. What it's doing is tacking it down a bit and how it does that is it, it pushes little bits of thread of the, the wool through it's a barbed needle if you haven't ever used one before it's they're a lot of fun I've got this is barbed so it's pushing through bits of that fiber and putting a thin layer of fiber over things like that like their mohair kind of curls and use them to a great degree. See how see how fine that is. So if I wanted to, let's try another thing. This is silk. This should also work well. I'm not sure what I'm making. Oh yeah. See now, see why I love this. Can you see how it just? gathers it up and makes a very interesting texture. Let's have a look at it behind. You can see it's brought bits of that material through. So really it's good to experiment with just whatever you can find and see what it will do. Now if I didn't want it all like that I'd just push some here. I want that bit to be less like that. Less um bunched up you know ruched up so right, we've got a couple of pieces done some nice colors there uh, more silk perhaps that would work beautifully and silk I mean you might find this in an op shop with um oh look at you aren't you pretty with what's you gonna say mm, yeah scarves silk scarves great way to get a different colours silk cheaply. Op shop, charity shop. Well, we've got something, some sort of background happening. What else do we have? I did, I've kept out bits of this because this is um, linen and the linen has such a uh, such a delicate kind of loose weave that you can easily pull and make interesting shapes from it to see what I mean so I quite like using that probably not as much I'll use this bit that color whoops some of it's come undone but I don't really mind I would actually even use those bits of thread I would just shove them there. See, and I would put a little bit of this over the top, like that. Where's my needle gone here? So already we're building up something, something interesting. But it's all the one sort of colour, isn't it? We've all got pinky purple. Uh, we should really add something else to there. 
grabbed a little piece of this, but maybe some other green would be nice. Can you see how that just sort of blends in if you if you pulled it out like that? Almost purpley, isn't it? So whilst I'm thinking of that, I'm thinking I could easily pop in some some of these kind of walls. This this kind of eyelash stuff that works all right. That'd be pretty with that. A little bit of that. Uh, if this matches, it brings in some nice colours. This is just a wall. A little bit of that. Uh, anything else I particularly want? Oh yes, you're lovely. A bit of that. See these, they get bigger and smaller. If you ever get one of these rolls, um, yeah, rolls of wool. Very useful. I might keep that as well. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So, I guess I'm just a bit bobbly. Now what? Now this is probably just a background for me to add things to. I do, I, you know, I'm, it, this could be something abstract or I could be looking for something skylight. I don't know, let me just have a look what I have close by. Oh, look at you, wouldn't you be nice? I don't know how that would go, that would probably just make a mess. I can try it. I'm all about trying and seeing what happens. Okay, let's go here. Hmm. I don't really want to, but it might just enough to tack. I don't expect this to stay, you know. I'm going to do out a little hand stitching, but it's just interesting to play with and see what it does. You might come up with something new. Oh. Undecided just yet. It doesn't matter, I can just pull it off. It's only just vaguely tacking it down. Tell you what it is doing, it's making an interesting kind of ripple, isn't it? Well, let's pretend that's let's pretend that's worked. What else do I have? Here's some white gauze. You find this in bandages and things. I wonder if we can get some of that on it. Right, so what I would need now would be some actual wool. Let's have a look. It's a bit of blue, grey. Wouldn't need much. What else? You're pretty. Light green, maybe. Right, there'll be something there that will help help the situation. Let's see what happens. Just go a little bit over that. Well, that certainly calmed it down, didn't it?
because I think that's quite sky like with some nice shine. I'm quite happy with that. What else can we pop in there? Um, well, we've got some white if we want to go over some bits with some a little bit of cloud in there. Hmm. All right, so what did we get out here? We got out. This one. Let's just put it like that. A little bit of water over top, or maybe some of this. This is nice. And can you see how you could you can split this apart and you can use it like that as a as a wall to tuck in. Or you can also couch, and uh, that's the beauty of it. So find where you might want to pop that. Mm. Well, it should seem obvious to you now that I don't have a plan. I'm just adding pretty colours and letting something happen. Do that. This might go underneath some of that and just have bits of it poking out. Do you see? And I might have a little bit of this into the mix somehow. Let's see what it does. I'm just adding those tiny little bits of of um, fleece, of wool, of roving. It just helps amalgamate it all. See, it's all it's all tucked down in there. That's nice. What else did I want to pop in? There's some of that. So, oh, very interesting. So, if they won't actually poke through, you can do other things. Oh, that's nice. Now, you can get these things. That's like four in one, aren't they? If you wanted to, you can do that. I prefer to just give it the, the single. And this very inexpensive start for you to just get one of them. Oops. So it'll change every time you put something down. And you may think, oh yeah, I liked that. Or you may think, no, oh, step too far. So this is wonderfully textural, but if you wanted to, you could just poke it in more and more and more, iron it flat, whatever you like. I like those little touches of greeny orangey colour. You know, but we don't need too much. Let's have a look. Are we starting to see something in that amalgamation of colours? What do you think? Is it possible? Now let's have a look at these other ones. You know, I could see a hill. I could see a valley. There's another hilltop. Only because I used the green, I suppose. So now I'm thinking that's a little nice. Uh, nice lot of flowers there. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy. So I'm just going to pop in a, a little bit more of this to hold these things down. Is some something that's unraveled from a piece of material. Look at that.
I could go in. So I'm just saying you will have things that you can use and um, it's great fun to just use whatever. Would probably be better underneath that. See how I just picked that off then? Not a problem. Now I don't know, can we still see our can't even remember where it was. Where was that nice piece of silk? Where did we put it? Did I keep any more back? Don't know. Look at you under there. And see, and see now I'm just sort of thinking, oh I wish I hadn't covered that up. So I'm just moving it across. And that gives me the opportunity to have that back in. Now some of that will stay down and some of it won't. But you can then finish it with a little bit of stitching. Or you could take these and you could put them in or whatever you like. So let's have a look again. That's what we've got. And that's pretty interesting already, I think. This is a foam. This is just a piece of ordinary foam from a cushion. So, if you can buy the proper foams, or you can just use something like that. I don't mind if the parts of that background check through. Really interesting sky though. Very happy. But I kind of think this needs to be toned down a wee bit that hot pink. And so I'll just pop a little tiny bit of something over top to just shade it down a bit. Now I probably would give that a little bit more punching, poking. Uh, I have done videos on this before, sometimes I get carried away and don't mention the beginning. But um, these things, they'll go forever, but you have to know not to uh, turn it and then pull it out. You just go in and out the same direction, even if you want to go this way. As long as you come out the same direction as you go in, it's okay. Look at you, you pretty little thing. Oh, what do you see in it? Hmm? Well, the sky's obvious. Let's pull that off. Look at all that that's poached through. We've amalgamated it. All of those things into that little piece of background cloth. Pretty. Now, I have also been outside doing some maintenance work on the house. So, I'm a little bit coated in nasty glues that I can't get rid of. So if you see that, that's what it's about. So I'm going to tie a knot in this. I'm just going to start by just attaching that blue. I'm just doing a line across here, making sure that I get that down at the same time. I could use a plain stitch like this, running stitch, and that's a good way to start anyway. You know, it really, it anchors down quite a few things at once. It looks good. And I would do another one down here. So we're not really noticing it. It's not a. It's not a. Um, 
hot pink or anything that I'm using. It's just something that blends in quite nicely. You can see it. That's okay. And I'm not going in straight lines. Sometimes I'll go down in a wavy kind of line and out the other side. I see something that needs catching in. I'll get it on my way past. I need to. I can go back. I can give this bit's a bit furry still. I'll give it a bit of that. Sometimes I want it to be a little bit uh, fluffy. We did a little bit of purple and I would use something that's just going to blend in to do some lines across. After I've done that, then I would think about what I want to do. Like, let's have a look here. You see, I've got some French knots up on the hillside. They're looking like little trees. Down here, they're looking like flowers. Sometimes I just try different things and see how it ends up. So those ones aren't finished. I will get there. But I thought you might just be interested in seeing how one comes together. Now I wouldn't have to just do straight lines if I decided. I mean, this is these they're crying out to be flowers, aren't they, in the foreground? Curvy line across. Sometimes you just pick things out that you didn't really plan, but like suddenly, there we go, that little curve appeared. And um, that's right, okay, that could be grass on top of a little, a little mound there. So instead of doing a straight line, I could also do a little bit of seed stitch. So they can go in different directions. So sometimes they could catching that bit, sometimes they're down here catching that bit down. You know, it's just getting some shading in, a little touch of purple that I might not have already had in there. So we keep some fascinating little bits and pieces. People used to laugh at me when I would keep tiny little scraps and they were, what are you going to do with that? You'll never use that. Well, I, I do. I do use those. Just collecting a few more threads now. Different colours. Pearl. It's in that lovely peachy colour. I wanted that. Now, as long as we'll go through this needle, if not, I'll have to get one with a larger hole. I would really like to do is try and get a few French knots in. I do like a French knot. One, two, three times around, back in. Sort of accentuates what I was planning there to call them flowers. And they would be smaller here in the background. It doesn't take much to suggest. We're not trying to do it perfectly. We're just trying to make it a suggestion so that people see what we're what we're aiming at. A few wildflowers in a field. That added a little bit of shine. We managed to use it to also hold that thread down, that um, couch this one down a bit. It doesn't always have to be that. We might do just some stitches like, like couching where we take it up one side and down the other. Perhaps I would have liked some to finish off my cotton. I could do some further down. And it will hold some other areas down. 
suppose I should put something there in the sky. This is a stranded cotton. I'm just going to pull it apart and use two strands. So experiment with your fibres and your scraps of yarn, your materials, and just see what they'll do. Grab yourself one of those felting needles. You'll find them. And have some fun. Got a bit of a gap there. Now I could fill that with um, some, I could actually just leave that brown showing if I really wanted to. I can fill it with some knots. I could just stitch through it. Lots of things. Whatever I feel like at the time. So with a combination of running, running stitch and a few French knots and a lot of scrap can make a little picture. No, I'm going to finish off soon because I don't think you need to see the whole shebang. Or I might take a photo at the end, but I'm really not going to do a lot more. Let's have another look here. Oh, see how that little bit there, that's quite nice. What else do we have? All right, so when I put it here, I can see that I'm a little bit of not a lot of stuff there. Uh, I can just leave it like that or I could grab some white here and I can make a little curl there so it's a nice, you know, or this, this could come down actually because it's, it was out of the picture, wasn't it? So let's do that. I just folded it down and I'm just, you can go underneath. Yeah, so with a few... You know what I mean? You can fill in the areas, you can leave it out, you can do what you like to do. But look at that pretty little picture. And you know, you could pop in a few little trees, you could, you know, make a few little daisy flowers there, you could do a lot of things. But um, that might be it for today. I really do hope you uh, enjoyed it. And if you have, don't forget to press like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see more things that I might come up with. So that's it. Once again, thanks for watching. Any of my links below will show you where I am. Thank you.